Hello, my name is Lê Hiền Minh. I am from Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. It is my honor to be the first Vietnamese artist to participate in this residency program. Thank you, God Institute and Lia Residency for the opportunity. My everyday life is quite simple since we are required to social distance and stay home. Every day, I wake up early and use my mornings for either study or for working on my computer. In the afternoon, I focus on my artwork. Many times, I simply sit and meditate to find some relaxations for the mind. Obviously, this is an extremely difficult time for everyone. For me, personally, it took a while to understand my feelings and learn how to express myself in an honest and clear way. The experience has been complex with many different layers. First, I am out of my comfort zone. I am not living in my home. I am living in an industrial space, in a city that I had only seen in the picture, in a country that I don't know at all. My normal support system of family and friends are not here in Germany. I am worried about my loved ones and they worry about me. Getting out of my comfort zone is part of why I choose to participate in this residency. But at a time like this, I do find myself missing the comfort and the familiarity of home. Secondly, I am still adapting to the broad cultural difference between Europe and Asia. When there are a diversity of different cultural backgrounds represented, there is always an adaptation process which takes place, and that process takes time. So I guess you could call it cultural shocks, discomfort, a feeling of being lost, vulnerability, and sometimes distrust from both sides can happen. Again, experiencing cultural difference is part of why I choose to join this residency. But at a strange time like this, feeling understood and understanding those around us can help to ease stress and worry. This pandemic crisis, which brought a huge wave of shock, disrupted all normality. So there is an ongoing feeling of uncertainty, loneliness, and anxiety that saturates everything. I am pretty much always in my studio. Luckily, they are quite big and beautiful here at Leah. My space is filled with sunlight, which I love. With things being as they are, I try to stay positive and focus on my art project. Here in Lia, I am creating a site-specific installation. It is a continuation of a series of works which focus on significant social issues, including gender roles, hierarchies within society, and female identity. These installations will be the sixth work in this series. These installations is being created using traditional Vietnamese handmade saw paper. It's a material that I have been using for the last 16 years. This paper, made from the bark of the saw tree, is used to make woodcut folk prints in Vietnam called Dong Ho. This type of folk print is believed to have existed since the 11th century. Why I remain closely connected to this traditional art material I am only interested in using it in fresh and unexpected ways. In that way, my work acts as a bridge between contemporary and traditional Vietnamese art and also between modern and historical Vietnamese culture. An etching workshop is sponsored by the God Institute. It is my first time working with print. It is interesting and I enjoy getting to know a new techniques and process. 
I hope to maintain my inner strength and continue to seek out positive energy for both my mind and my body. I hope to stay healthy and complete my artwork in the best way possible. I hope I can experience some normality here in Germany, such as a visit to a museum, a gallery, a possible travel to Berlin, or to eat some German food at a restaurant before I go back to Vietnam. These days, I mostly think about my home, my family, my friends, and my cat. I also think about how this pandemic has affected us all as human beings and what I could do to be more helpful to everyone around me and to our society. It makes me appreciate small gesture. For example, reaching out to ask others how they are doing. I do truly wish that we will all stay healthy and this virus will soon be a memory. <laughs>